kids' educational games. Emitting liquid rocks and hot gases. Destroying and creating. Volcanoes are as old as the planet. Let's go on a journey to learn more about these fascinating volcanoes. Welcome to the course on volcanoes. Deep inside the earth, between the crust and the mantle, is a layer of red-hot liquid, which has to be thrown out from time to time. The earth finds an opening to eject the hot liquid onto the surface. These openings are called volcanoes. Once it reaches the surface, the hot liquid reveals itself as one of the most terrifying forces of nature, destroying everything in its path. When you complete this course, you will know all about volcanoes, their formation, and impact. But first, let's meet Larry. This is Larry Lava. Hi. Larry Lava lives in a volcano in the Pacific Ocean and knows a lot about the region. He also knows quite a few volcanoes in Asia, Europe, and North America. Therefore, he will be able to guide you well through this journey. Let's begin. First, we will visit a volcano that erupted yesterday. A volcano erupted on an island in the Ring of Fire region yesterday. Hot molten rocks were seen shooting up to 2,500 meters or 8,202 feet in the sky. Ashes from the volcano have covered the land like a thin blanket. Government authorities have already evacuated two nearby towns. Also, a heavily populated industrial town is within the danger zone of the spreading ash. The government is preparing to move the people from the area. Volcanoes can cause a lot of damage. Let's learn more about them. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust that ejects volcanic ash, hot gases, and liquid rock called magma. Magma is the molten rock between the crust and the mantle. I am not always this busy. Depending on the frequency of eruption, volcanoes can be classified into three types, active, dormant, and extinct. Active. Volcanoes that erupt regularly or constantly are called active volcanoes. Dormant. Volcanoes that have not erupted in many, many years but are likely to erupt again are called dormant volcanoes. And extinct. Volcanoes that have not erupted for a long, long time and are not likely to erupt again are called extinct volcanoes. The ancient Roman god Vulcan was known to be the god of the fire of volcanoes. He is usually shown carrying a thunderbolt. There are 1,510 active volcanoes on Earth. Of these, 80 or more are located beneath the sea along the oceanic ridges. Most active volcanoes occur along the tectonic plate boundaries. Some are also found in areas that have hot spots, like Hawaii, where the temperature below the mantle is higher than anywhere on the planet. Over half of the world's volcanoes are located along the Ring of Fire, a belt along the Pacific Ocean. Here, the Pacific Continental Plate collides with the surrounding plates, resulting in several active volcanoes. As a country, Indonesia has the largest number of volcanoes. Volcanoes are found all over the world. Let's locate them. North America. The most important volcanoes found here are Mount St. Helens, Mount Mazama, Mount Rainier, Mauna Kea, and Mauna Loa. The Caribbean. The important volcanoes found here are Soufriere Hills and Mount Pele. Ecuador. The important volcanoes found here are Cotopaxi, Cayambe, and Chimborazo. Greece. The most important volcano found here is Thera. Indonesia. The important volcanoes found here are Krakatoa, Mount Merapi, 
and Mount Tambora. Italy. The important volcanoes found here are Mount Stromboli and Mount Etna. Japan. The important volcanoes found here are Mount Fiji, Kirishima, and Sakurajima. Mauna Loa in Hawaii is the largest volcano in the world. The tallest volcano is Mount Kea, also in Hawaii. Most volcanoes show signs leading to an eruption. If spotted in time, preventative measures can be taken. Do you know how a volcano builds up to erupt? Let's learn about the formation of volcanoes. Volcanoes are formed when two tectonic plates collide. As one plate moves above the other, the magma is pressed up between the two plates. It gathers in a large underground pool of magma called the magma chamber. As the pressure in the magma chamber increases, it forces the magma upward through the fissures or narrow cracks in the Earth's crust. The volcanic vent or opening in the surface allows for a pathway of ash, magma, and gases to escape from below the surface. The mouth of the volcano that surrounds the vent is called the crater. Once the magma comes out through the crater, it is called lava. Parasitic cones may also appear in a volcano. These are small volcanoes formed by an accumulation of volcanic debris. As the name suggests, they are cone-shaped. The lava from the main vent and the smaller parasitic cones flows down the flank or the sides of the volcano. The speed of the flow depends on the thickness of the lava. The thinner the lava, the faster it moves. Did you know that some of the most fertile lands are located on highly volcanic areas? This is because volcanic eruptions add valuable nutrients to the soil. Here's a volcano lying in pieces. Only you can help recreate it by selecting the appropriate piece for each hint that appears. Select the correct piece. It is the first step in the formation of a volcano. You got it! It is the molten rock that erupts from a volcano and turns solid as it cools. You got it! It is an underground passage and the main route to reach the crater from the magma chamber. You got it! It is an underground pool that collects the molten rock. You got it! Long, long ago, there flourished a civilization in the island of Santorini. Located to the southeast of mainland Greece, Santorini has always been known for its natural beauty. It is believed that humans first settled here more than 4,500 years ago. Slowly, they turned the island into one of the most advanced settlements of its time. They built multi-level buildings and supplied hot and cold water through dual pipes. A volcano erupted around three and a half thousand years ago and devastated Santorini. It was among the largest volcanic eruptions in history. Historians believe this was one of the main reasons for the destruction of the flourishing civilization. Experts also believe it caused significant climatic events in the northern hemisphere. A volcano can sometimes wipe out an entire city. Let's learn more about the impact of volcanoes. A volcanic eruption causes massive destruction. It can lead to death of plants and animals by the hot lava and poisonous gases, destruction of buildings and property, release of ash that covers plants making them inedible, release of dust that causes pneumonia and other diseases. A volcano can also trigger other threats like tsunamis, flash floods, earthquakes, mud flows, and rock falls. Did you know that the deepest lake in the United States was originally a volcano? 
Thousands of years ago, Mount Mazama erupted explosively and expelled a large amount of molten rock. This led to the collapse of the summit, creating the crater lake. The dice board holds a lot of information on volcanoes. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust that ejects volcanic ash, hot gases, and liquid rock called magma. Volcanoes can be classified into active, dormant, and extinct. There are 1,510 active volcanoes on Earth, and most of these are located along the Ring of Fire, a belt along the Pacific Ocean. Indonesia has the maximum number of volcanoes. Mount Krakatoa is one of the most noted volcanoes in Indonesia. It exploded in August 1883. This was the loudest recorded explosion in history and was heard from as far as Australia. Volcanoes are formed due to the collision of tectonic plates. The magma between the crust and the mantle is pushed upward and out through the opening on the surface of the Earth. Volcanoes cause massive destruction. They kill both plants and animals and cause damage to property. Volcanoes can also trigger other natural phenomena like tsunamis, earthquakes, and flash floods. Well played. I am sure you've learned some important facts on volcanoes. Larry wants to create a documentary on the Ring of Fire and share it with everybody. He needs a lot of equipment to travel to the region and shoot the film. You can help Larry by answering some questions and collecting the equipment. Magma is found between two layers of the Earth. Can you identify the two layers? Select the correct option. Crust and mantle. Core and mantle. Core and crust. Crust and mantle. You got it. Magma is a layer of hot molten liquid rock found between the crust and the mantle. You've been able to collect a camera for the documentary. Can you identify the country with the maximum number of volcanoes? Select the correct option. United States of America, Indonesia, Japan. Indonesia. You got it. Indonesia has the maximum number of volcanoes in the world. A pair of heavy boots and work gloves is now yours for the trip. Lava flows down the flank of a volcano at different speeds. Can you identify the factor that decides the speed? Select the correct option. Color, temperature, thickness. Thickness. You got it. The speed of lava flow depends on its thickness. A gas mask is all yours to lend Larry for the trip. Can you identify the natural phenomena triggered by a volcano? Select the correct options. Tsunamis, rock falls, tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricane. Tsunamis, rock falls, earthquakes. You got it. A volcano can trigger tsunamis, rock falls, and earthquakes. You can now pass on a rock climbing helmet to Larry Lava for his trip. Congratulations! You have completed the course and also helped Larry Lava collect the right equipment for his documentary.